Hello everyone! Welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video, we will be talking about the Smasher's Gambit. The Smasher's Gambit was a chess tournament between some of the best Super Smash Bros players in the world. Each participant was assigned one coach. I had the huge, huge honor to be assigned to I'm Esim. So we had a few lessons. Let's have a look how they went. So did you try the uh the London? So I I told you like I only have like two white games and one of them I just like super quickly just played King Pawn and I was like <laughs> I did one. No, it's it's very normal. It's very normal. It happens to everyone. But um, uh, let's see. I think I saw that game. Yeah, right. Yeah, and and I liked it. Yeah, th it was this one, and I really like the position you got. Let's jump onto an analysis board, and I will show you. Great. Uh, so this game, it actually went really well. Like the opening, as you could see, probably like you played it perfectly. I have to admit, I'm not a London expert. Like, I hate to play against the London, but I never played the London myself because I simply don't open with D4 like ever. Well. I tried do, to, but... Do you generally play King Spawn? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The problem with King Spawn is there's so much to play there. And I think your opponent plays like several things. So to prepare for that, I was like, mm. he, he kind of knows what he's doing, I guess. My opponent is in IBDW. Yeah. And then I checked like against the Lun. I was like, hmm, that could be a great shot. And I feel like, um, I don't remember. I, I think... He it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing, but it's like, I feel like this is a great opening to play against him. And it's very easy, like, uh, you basically follow the same setup. Uh, the general setup, as far as I know, is that, uh, well, d4, bishop, f4, and e3. And then you kind of want to play things like c3, bishop d3, knight, BD, knight d2, and knight f3. That's your general setup. Yeah. Uh, the move order is like, you know, can be different a little. There's not much yeah. that you can do wrong here. Like, the worst thing you can do, for example, bishop f5, knight c3, knight b4, that you just ignore the pawn on c2 hanging. That's the worst thing that can happen. But it's a really simple setup. Um, so the thing here is like, so you played bishop g5. So you basically developed your pieces, like the knights, uh, the bishop, and you castled. Uh, what you have to think of now is like a plan. You need to figure out a plan because like you followed all the like basic steps that you need to do in order to get a nice decent position so then like you might want to consider developing your rooks or maybe your queen because like they're the ones that are not developed yet basically yeah. um i feel like one of the worst parts of my game is trying to is developing my rooks because i feel like i just don't do it like <laughs> period i'm just like i'm scared of moving them off of the back because hmm. like it takes so many moves that i feel like whenever i try to do something it's just like okay we're gonna stuff what you want to do before and i'm just like damn it yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I relate to that a little. Because, <laughs> like, honestly, if, if I play a game where I don't mess up at this level, I probably win. Yeah, like, for I'm sure. Playing to not mess up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta be careful. You just gotta be careful, like hanging pieces, and like sneaky tactics. You know, um, yeah. that that's literally all. That that's why I don't want to focus on opening too much. Like, you know, I can throw at you like a lot of things, but. Especially a day before the tournament, that makes no sense. You just gotta have like a solid setup. Make sure that you're not not like lost in the opening, you know. And yeah. from that moment on, like have like ideas on like how to play and uh, yeah, uh, just a little bit guidance there. But in general, yeah. it's gonna be all, all up gonna be out about the middle game, like what's gonna happen, who's gonna blunder, who's gonna miss this hanging piece, who's gonna miss this tactic and stuff. But um, yeah, so um, what I was thinking, so I think I briefly wanted to go over the Pyrrhic that you're playing. If we go over some lines briefly, like, you know, just show you some ideas what I think you could do. Yeah. Um, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, I think if you just know what you're doing there, just like a little bit. And especially since you have had practice already in this opening, I think you should be fine. It's a great opening and there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, so e4, d6, uh, d4 is what he usually plays. Plays knight c3, g6. Like, he knows what he's doing here, kind of. Like, from, like, you know, most of your opponents just blundered this pawn straight up. They don't know what to do here. <laughs> but your opponent, like, kind of knows what he's doing. He has some 
ideas here, which is, uh, well, I mean, it's unfortunate that he knows what to do, but that's totally fine. That's totally fine. It's not a big deal. And uh, yeah, just play in the center. Like, also keep in mind, if they attack you on the side, try to play in the center. And I think that's going to be really, really um, something you need to apply in this opening because they often attack you on your king and you just have to push in the center, e5. Yeah, like, then I start attacking, like, basically just every, like, the other side and yeah. the, the center. Because, like, I, I, it's like, oh, you control these three ranks, I'll control these five. Right. Basically. Yeah. yeah. So if, in this situation, if they were to go here, would you still play this? Uh, either knight g3, or you could also play knight f4. It's also a typical move. I think, like, this is when it comes, like, to the uh, king's Indian defense, because then if you play this, takes, takes, like, you open up this bishop, it's on this diagonal. Yeah, that's super good. The dark squared bishop is gone, and once again, you have queen h4 now. And, like, I, they yeah. can't play h4 and stuff, but their attack won't mean anything, because, like, if they push again, you can just block it with g5. And there's no way they can, like, cross your pawns or something. Yeah, because, like, if they do this, it's like, okay. That too, but I would recommend, like, just to wait. Just wait, and, like, for example, um, if you do, I don't know, like, for example, this, and they play h5, just block it. Stop the pawn oh, pushes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And we don't mind h6, we just play bishop h8. Like, as you can see, there's nothing yeah. you, they can do here. Everything is, like, blocked. So, yeah, um, but what I'm afraid of is that, like, he starts to attack. I trap my bishop. He starts to attack and like you're not sure what to do there, you know? So I feel like if he plays c6 right away, you're like attack like kind of like distracting him, you know? Yeah, like I get I give I gain tempo. Kind of. I mean like you're trying to like put pressure in the center and he doesn't have time to like start an attack here or something. You just yeah. distract him here in the center, takes, takes, um castles. Um, yeah. After all the training, it was now finally time for Isim to show off what he had learned. The tournament started, and this is how it went. I think we're actually going to be starting with IBW versus Isim, uh, which I said was going to be certainly one of the most, I think one of the closest matches potentially out of the, the first round of bracket. I think it's, this is going to be a really tough one to call between these two. That's exactly what's happening. And he oh, sees the move, Queen H5. It. It's happening. It's happening. Wow. Oh, no fear. Giving no away fear. a piece here on D2. No fear. Why no fear? Because there's Queen G6 check. Uh, well, that's actually just a checkmate immediately. So so that's, that's the idea, basically. He's just mm -hmm. threatening checkmate in one. And oh. whoa, oh. We, have, we have a checkmate, everybody. We have a checkmate, everybody. Is Izam going to find it? He's got to see it, right? He's got to yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah, that one's too. Wow, <laughs> good game, good, good stuff from Izam. Ripped out wow. all the best moves of that. But look at Ivy the W once again. He's going for the attack. He's going alongside Castle. Uh, and now just block it down with H6, and it's the attack is over. H6 or F6 works too, but H6 is like you know completely locking it down. That's my student, guys. That's my student. Oh my god, that's... She that's hangs, it. You said it. You said it. Yep. Yep. There we go. <laughs> he just blunders the rook. Oh my goodness. Oh. All and right, that's it. Yeah, fine. he knows. He knows. He knows. Exactly. This, uh, I just feel like the rook on h6 is just not an amazing rook, you know, because he's just always running into all of these ideas of e7. Yeah, yeah. But e7's but... got to see that. E7's got to see that. And this game is going to be really important because, you know, if e7 wins, there's going to be a tiebreaker, right? So. Oh my god. Okay. So, yeah. E7. E7. Oh man. And yeah, he's even got time to do that. And then now you just. Yeah, anything just... is winning. And now it's. Pretty clearly over. Well, you know, the moment you said it, the moment you said you wish for a blitz game, <laughs> we're getting we got it. it. We're getting it. Well we're done, Isam. I don't know what's going on here. Because Queenie for a check, is that just going to be a winning pawn game for Ludwig? 
Okay. Uh, and he goes for it. So, right. Queen takes, king takes, g6. It gotta be a4. Is, yep. G7. Okay. And they're going. But the white pawn queens with check. It's so important. Checks throw everything off in positions like this. Oh my God. Boom. That there was so it. important. It is so important. That changed everything. Wow. That little check, the fact that that was with a check just, you know, goes from being perhaps a draw to just be completely winning for Ludwig and he's going to take it home. He's taking this game home, everybody. All the way to the bank, yep. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, please give the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the video. Bye-bye.